Hi guys, Fernando from Fixipedia. Um, I got a desktop computer that uh, today was a particular problem. It had a lot of other issues, but was simple to solve. This one was sort of simple but complicated at the same time, and I know there's a lot of people with this issue online. Basically, I'm gonna turn it on. And it's gonna boot, but um, it's gonna have a black screen for about 10 15 seconds, and then it will boot into the operating system. And the thing is, this is a Asus um, K, I think it's a K30, yeah, K30 AD, and it's got. Uh, it's got a VGA port and it's got an HDMI port. So, as you can see, it's booting in. This still has Windows 8.1. And uh, the thing is, from what I could understand, is that when it boots up like this, it thinks that the VGA is the second, it's a secondary monitor, and the HDMI is the primary. So, what I'm going to try and do is get into the BIOS, and we have to change the setting. So, let's see if we can get into the BIOS at the first try. Okay, so if you can't get into the BIOS on your first try, um, this happened to me before, either you connect a uh, HDMI monitor to the computer, then you can go into the BIOS because he'll detect the monitor and let you see all the information on the screen, or you can just disconnect the power supply have to take out the battery, this little battery, press the um, on off button in the front of the computer, just wait a few seconds, then you can change the pin if you want to, it's gonna do a reset for the BIOS, put it in, it's just to be sure that it's gonna reset the BIOS, so, okay, put in the battery again, Connect it. Now it's going to give an error. And you, you can go inside the bio setting. So. There you go. So press delete or F2. Press F1 to enter setup. Okay. So now we're in. I'm going to just go into advanced mode change the date okay so okay now the setting that you're going to change by the way this is uh, what does it say This board, it's an H81M slash E motherboard uh, from Asus as well. And I already did an update for the BIOS, it's a 0802. Okay, but the setting that I want you to change is you have to go up here to boot, then come all the way down to CSCM compatibility support module. And you're going to change this from auto 
to enabled. Okay. Press F10 so it will change, it will save your settings. Yes. There you go. Now it'll boot with the splash uh, the splash screen. So hope this helped. Thanks. Bye.